Hello and welcome to Simutex Tips and Tricks video collection. In this video, we'll show how to specify thermal contact conductance as a function of contact pressure. In many applications, you may need to account for the change in thermal contact conductance as the contact pressure changes between components of an assembly. To do this, coupled field static or transient analysis is best suited since these applications involve both structural and thermal degrees of freedom. Keep in mind that this requires a mechanical enterprise license. Here are the options to specify TCC, thermal contact conductance. The default is program controlled. It calculates a sufficiently high value such that near perfect contact is created at that interface. The second option is manual. It allows you to specify your own value, which can be flagged as a parameter. And then there's a third option to insert an APDL command snippet under the desired contact region. This gives you the flexibility to specify TCC as a function of temperature, contact gap, contact pressure, and so on. Here are the steps to specify TCC as a function of contact pressure. First of all, TCC is item number 14 in the real constant set for contact elements. So to specify a pressure-dependent TCC, we first create a table of TCC versus pressure, and then modify item number 14 using the rmodif command. Let's take a look at an example. I have three coupled field static analyses, one with default thermal contact conductance, one with user-specified TCC, and one with TCC as a function of pressure. The model consists of two plates bolted together in the middle via a beam connection. There's also a frictional contact between the two plates. Boundary conditions are a fixed support applied to the perimeter of the bottom plate, a bolt pretension load of 5,000 newtons that is applied in the first load step and locked in the second load step. In the second load step, we also apply two convections. One convection at the top plate with an ambient temperature of 80 degrees and another at the bottom plate with an ambient temperature of zero degrees. Both convections have a convection coefficient of five watts per mil squared Celsius. Let's look at the results. Here is total deformation, exaggerated of course. Here are the temperatures. The top plate ranging from 39.9 to 41 and the bottom plate ranging from 38.7 to 40.1. Contact pressure, max value is about 33.47 megapascals. We have a reaction heat probe for the contact region, which gives us 1.87 watts. And finally, the thermal contact conductance was program controlled. You can see a high value that was calculated. Now let's look at the second model. Same as the first, the only difference is we have here a user specified TCC of 1000 units. The reaction probe this time is 1.816 compared to 1.87 in the previous analysis. And the contact conductance shows the value that we applied of 1000. And finally, the third model. Here we have a command snippet We have a table with an independent variable of pressure. There are three values of pressure in the zeroth column and three corresponding values of TCC in the first column. And that is applied to real constant item number 14 
in between percent signs on the rmodf command. For this case, the contact reaction probe is 1.84. First case was 1.87, second case was 1.81, here it's 1.84. TCC clearly shows a variation now from 0 to 7406 that was calculated as a function of the contact pressure. This concludes the video and thank you for tuning in.